Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. John, chapter 8, verses 31 to 42. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham, and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will be truly free. I know you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me, because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in my father's presence, then do what you have heard from the father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me. For I came from God and am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. What immediately jumps out from the reading as the globe is still reeling from this pandemic are the words of Jesus. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. And as quarantine measures are still intact due to whether or not we are carriers of the disease and possibly infect one another, During self-isolation, we are unable to be set free from confinement because of this unknown. Another type of confinement many of us find ourselves in is the imprisonment of the spirit due to sin. And it is in relation to this that Jesus' words really strike at the heart of the matter. You will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. The truth is, the ultimate sin is a belief that whatever we have done is greater than God's mercy and love. In other words, if we hold on to the mistruth that whatever mistakes we made is undeserving of God's forgiveness, then we are freely choosing to shut ourselves from God's grace and consequently remain trapped in our own hopelessness. However, if we take that leap of faith that God's love can break through any fortified barriers of our heart, no matter how egregious our misdeeds, then the process of being set free can begin. So let us never forget the greatness of God's mercy and love and not remain beholden and trapped by our sins, whatever they may be. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and liberating day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at marynollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marynollmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.